This symbol represents the square root. So what it means is that anytime you have that symbol and a number on the inside, what it's looking for is what number can you multiply by itself and get the number on the inside. In this case, that would be 4 because 4 times 4 is 16. If you have the square root of 4, what number can you multiply by itself and get 4? That would be 2. 2 times 2. And finally, the square root of 121. What number can you multiply by itself and get 121? That would be 11. So the, the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of 121 is 11. Finding the, finding the square root of a fraction is done the same way that you find the square root of a regular number. If we start out with the square root of 1 over 36, that is the same thing if you want to rewrite it as the square root of 1 over the square root of 36. So we get the square root of the numerator, which is 1. And the square root of the denominator, the square root of 36 is 6. So uh, the square root of 1 over 36 is 1 over 6. One more example, the square root of 4 25ths is equal to the square root of 4 over the square root of 25. The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 25 is 5, so our answer is 2 fifths. All numbers such as the ones that I've been showing you so far are called perfect squares. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 1 squared is equal to 1. 2 squared is equal to 4. 4 is a perfect square number. 3 squared is equal to 9. 4 squared is equal to 16. 5 squared is equal to 25. And so on. So those are called perfect square numbers, when you can multiply an, a whole number times itself and get, a, <clears throat> and get another number, then it is called a perfect square. So 1 is a perfect square, 4 is a perfect square, 9 is a perfect square, 16 and 25 are perfect squares. What that means is then, if there are perfect squares, then that means that in between those, in between here are numbers that are not perfect squares. For example, the square root of 2 is not a perfect square because there is not a number that you can multiply it by itself and get it to end in 2. Okay, there's not, it's not possible. So, the square root of 2 is a number that goes on forever. It's 1.41 and yet it and keeps keeps on going. The square root of 3, there's no number that you can multiply by itself and get a 3 on the end. So 3 just goes goes is 1.7 and it goes on forever. It never repeats itself and it never um, <clears throat> never terminates. Square root of 5, square root of 6, See, these are numbers that fall in between the perfect squares. And what those numbers are called are called irrational, irrational numbers. Now, we were talking about irrational numbers. Irrational means not rational. Remember, irrational irra numbers... were ones that could be written in the form of A over B. Okay? Now, that means that irrational numbers cannot be written in the form of A over B. It won't work. You can't do that. Okay? So, numbers like pi, which is 3.14, and it goes on forever and never repeats itself, cannot be written in the form of A over B. Okay? Because if it can be written in the form of A over B, then that means it either terminates 
or it repeats itself. So you have two types of numbers that make up all real numbers. You have irrational numbers and rational numbers.